Firelight MS9600 is a 318 point addressable fire alarm panel, which is expandable to 600, and I actually forget the rest, I'm sorry, but um, it is an addressable control panel. It's got four NACs, 24 volts DC, and it's got the pretty unique lock on the side that you see on quite a few notifier panels. It has almost the same cabinet as the MS9200 UD. And this panel also has this right here over the transformer. Now, this was not on any of the 9200s. UD and UDLS, and even the original 9200, those did not have that. Over there is a Spectre Alert that is hooked up. And one thing that a lot of people do not know about this panel, or a lot of fire, well, firelight panels, is that it's got filter DC. And a lot of people are going to give me some crap about that, but it's, it's true. So we can actually demonstrate that with my ADT pull station that's hooked up to the end panel. So here we go. Now, as you can see, this panel does have a sync feature, which is what I have it set to. And it works really well. So, this has got four NACs. They can all be programmed a different way. You can have some sync, you can have some not. You can have some, say they can't. don't even have to be um, for fire alarm purposes. They can be for something else like, I don't know, like maybe a burglar alarm, because that is actually possible. Or a carbon monoxide, or a hazard or tornado, whatever. So, is all of, is this panel can do all of that. And all you have to do is just have one of the monitor modules or a pull station to cover it. So, you can reset. When you reset it, it does a lamp test. Now this panel, it does have some troubles because I don't have resistors on every NAC and there's no batteries on there, obviously. And one thing, that this panel can do that the 9050UD could not do, and this could also, and the MS5UDs and the MS10UDs also could do this, but you can remove these terminals just by pulling up like this, and so, some of them, these are a bit tough to get out, but, actually maybe this one will be easier. Yeah, if you can pull them out like this, and it reveals what it covers right there. So, this panel, I recommend that this panel would be installed in like a huge office or a mall or something, or some, or maybe an airport. That's also a good place to have one of these because it can cover a lot of initiating devices. And I mean, it can do, a, it can cover a lot, even control modules, really modules, whatever. So... It covers, like these are the um, pull stations that I recommend you use on this panel, which are BG12 LX pull stations. Now, any, any brand will work because they're all basically the same device, just by a different brand. And this one's by ADT, it's not by Farlet, obviously, but it still works with the system, which will it'll work with almost all Honeywell addressable panels. There are a few that it does not work on, but it works very well with the 9600. So, one reason why I think this is here is because, well one, the um, voltage is very high over here, like 120 volts, 200 something, or I forget the exact voltage, but it's more than likely some really high because you would need a lot of power to cover a whole building like this so and another thing that this panel has as this what what is this and I actually may power off the panel just to show you what this is this is a card for class A and class B you can have this in a certain way I have it in as class A and we can go ahead and power the panel back on
and this is the um, boot up that you get when you start it up. Now this panel does something that my 9050D, were branded by Notifier, which is actually over there, can do that. It actually, when you start it up, it'll automatically have these running. Turn the devices on. You cannot do that with this panel because once you boot it up, you have to reset the panel and then it'll read the devices. You don't have to with this panel, which is very cool about that. I found that very annoying doing it for that panel, but you do not have to with this. Now, one thing that this panel can also have is a dialer. Well, all panels can have dialers, but this one has a certain dialer that not a lot of people know. Here is the dialer. Now this one, it looks like from a 5024, right? Well, the keypad does, but it's not. It's like this is the um, keypad for the um, DACT is what it is. Yep, it's UDACT. UDACT F. So this is what you hook up to the phone line. And another thing that's pretty cool about this panel is the dress panel that you get. The dress panel, it has instructions on it. So you can, it's like, say you're a noob and you don't know how to, <laughs> you're a noob, you don't know how to function one of these. Well, you, this is pretty much your, your instructions right here. You can see, it'll show you this, if you can read that. There's your buttons, it'll show you what they do. And here's this, which will also do the same, tell you you get a programming and all that. So I really like this dress panel. I've never seen any other dress panel that's had this. So big A plus to Firelight for that. So this panel, it takes one of these bigger, you know, AC cords. The NFW 50, you don't have to do that. Or 950, but it has one of these bigger cords. I recommend you use those on the panel. Now, I have not tried it with two, with only the um, two wires, which is what this one is right here. I don't, I don't have one of those on there. And I'm not sure if you really need earth on there. I, maybe not, but I it's good to good. stop recording, so. Sorry about that, guys. So, battery backup. Now, what's makes this panel pretty different from a lot of other firelight panels is that usually you just plug the battery cables in like you can see right here I can just I'll plug it from here and it'll I'll go in trouble for a second you just play it plug it back in this panel does not have that the battery cables are screwed in well the screw terminaled in so it's not really that easy to unhook the batteries instantly to have no power coming to the panel. So you pretty much just have to pull these out if you want to disconnect the batteries, which can, it can be kind of annoying sometimes. Like it's a bit easier and I also think it's better doing it this way. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I always unplug it if I'm disconnecting the batteries and plug them back in when I'm not. So, there it goes, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review on the um, MS9600. And if there was something that I missed about it, please leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And I'll see you guys later in the next video.